Hi, my name is Laura Batante, and this is my YouTube channel, My Two Bits. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to make this really uh, adorable little monkey. Uh, of course, he's designed to uh, hang with other monkeys, so you're going to want to make a few probably. Uh, I think he's super cute for a classroom or bedroom decor or for a party. So super easy to make. We just need a couple of supplies, some cardstock, glue stick, scissors, black pen, and then I have a few paper clips to help hold things in place while you're cutting out. And then of course you need the template which is available to download uh, right in the notes for this video. So whenever I'm doing a project like this I always like to make sure that I cut the template out fairly close to uh, the design and also then I'll cut out the cardstock paper clips being difficult. The cardstock closely, it's easier to work with that way. Uh, the paper clips are to help hold things in place and they're easily moved so that works out great. I totally recommend uh, cutting on the line. I know lots of times I'll see kids working on projects and they're cutting well outside the line. Um, so here I'm going to suggest that you aim for the line and don't feel like if you start here that you have to finish this entire piece before you move on. I often will cut like this and then I will go back and cut around when I have more room. So um, that's just a little tip to make that easier for you. I'm going to cut all the way around here and then we'll pop back. So you can see as I'm cutting out that I'm leaving these areas and like I had mentioned um, I'll just go back in and cut around like that. And so for sure this is uh, a project that has a lot of curves to cut and so it is a little bit uh, more advanced than maybe some. So what I would recommend if you want to use this with younger kids is to just increase the size. So take this little guy up, um, I don't know, 150 percent or even bigger if you want. I mean you can make him however big you want, you just have to um, enlarge the PDF file. So. Um, that's one thing to possibly consider. And then um, the other thing is, is just remember that when you are cutting curves like this, you really want to make sure that you're using your non-scissor hand to um, turn the paper as you're working and it just makes doing these uh, curves so much easier. All right, so we have it all cut out and we'll take the stencil off and then I like to just take this time before I get going any further and make sure that I'm happy with all of my lines. So if I have a little problem um, that needs smoothing out, oops, probably took a hair more than I needed to there. Fix it. Cool. So yeah, just go and check and make sure that you like how it looks. And then I've already cut out these pieces as well. And you can see this is a really super simple craft in terms of pieces. There isn't much to it. So I'm going to put all of this on. And then what I might actually recommend um, is putting the face on first just in case it doesn't go as well as you might like. And you can, if you want to use the uh, face that I've done, then you could um, trace it with a pencil and um, that will leave a little indent which you can follow. And if that's not really dark enough for you, then what you could do is um, flip it over and just scribble in behind with a pencil and this is a super quick way to transfer. You do need to sort of be careful not to make a big smudgy mess but it is just pencil so you can erase it. So you would go like that and you would line it back up and then you would trace again Of course you're welcome to do whatever kind of little face you want, but if you want to try to get mine, there you go. So you can see a very faint line. And then with your pen, 
you just go over top. And if you go off a bit, just do your best to make it look good. Doesn't matter if it's not exactly. And then I have the eyes filled in on mine. And um, for sure you could use um, Google Eyes if you wanted to. I am a big fan of those. All right, so now we just have to attach it all with glue and we're done. So there we go, all done. And um, like I said, if you want to make it a little bit easier, uh, go ahead and make it a little bit larger. Another thing that you might want to consider um, is if you're going to hang them and have them up for a length of time, you might want to consider putting the face and tummy on this side too, so that when they're spinning in the uh, winds that, you know, like when the furnace comes on and that sort of thing, um, you have face on both sides, but that's your call, of course. And so thanks for joining me today. Uh, I appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you could give me a like, that would be fabulous. Also, consider subscribing. It's super easy. You just need a Gmail address, and you go into, um, uh, you just hit the subscription button, and then um, you have to go into your subscriptions to actually find them. So it's not invasive in any way. If you want a notification, then you hit the little bell and that will let you know when there's a new video. So thanks for joining me today. Hope you had fun and we'll see you next time.